Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Thank you all for tuning in and stopping by. It's great to have everybody here. And for all you who are brand new, hi and welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi instrumentalist. And the reason why we do these videos is so that way we can best take the technique from drummers who are better than us, analyze it in a way that's easy to digest and easy to learn, and use that so that way we can become ourselves better musicians. And we've got an absolute insanely quick drummer today that we're going to be checking out. So, I'm sure you guys have heard of the group Shadow of Intent. They're an American deathcore group known for their symphonic leads and stuff like that. They're insanely fast technical riffs, heavy breakdowns, and absolutely beautiful atmosphere that they put off in their songs. It's absolutely insane symphonic deathcore. It's really good. Well, they used to have a drummer back in the day before Bryce Butler that was really darn cool, and his work can be found on the Melancholy record, and his name is Anthony Barone. Anthony Barone is an American drummer. This man has been playing drums for a long, long, long time. He's known for insane speeds, insane technicality, and he plays for a lot of crazy bands out there. He's toured for a lot of different people, and he used to play in Shadow of Intent as their drummer, and the dude's got some insanely fast chops, and there's a lot of stuff that I feel like we can learn from him because we haven't reviewed him yet. We've reviewed Bryce Butler and Bryce Butler is an absolute beast so it's time to go back to the roots and take a look at Anthony Barone because this guy's got some absolutely insane stuff that we can learn from and I'm stoked because I have seen this play through a couple of times before and I feel like that uh it's something that you guys might be able to learn some cool stuff from it's one of my favorite Shadow of Intent songs ever it's underneath the sullen moon and this playthrough is an absolutely fast insanely technical playthrough it's there's a lot of cool stuff in it so let's go ahead and dive in check it out and see what Mr. Anthony Barone has to offer for as far as teaching us technique but before we start though, I check my YouTube analytics as any good creator should and only about 0.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. What are you guys doing with your lives? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of videos just like this on here. We're going to have a lot more fun content coming your way, so stick around. It's going to be a fun, fun journey. Well, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's jump in and see what this man has to teach us. All right, so we see he's sponsored by several different things. First things first, those drums sound cool. That snare drum sounds so tight. So he's using a full leg motion, ankle motion, with the slower bass drum parts, like this. Very good loose wrist technique. It's interesting because he's using wrist at this speed. It's really fast. So it looks like that he's using some fingers when he's doing it on his uh, on his hands. It looks like he's using some fingers as well as wrist. But his power is absolutely insane. Very good, tasteful fill. Very good tasteful symbol work as well. He's got all sorts of effect balls that he's using. And he's using double strokes right here. Very good clean looking double strokes too. So yeah, it looks like a little tense, honestly, when it comes to his wrist technique there. 
but also it could just be that he's putting a lot of power behind it, and that's why. But he definitely looks like he's, like, he's grooving out. He's having fun. He definitely is a very insanely technical drummer. He's using also much bigger hats, much bigger hi hats than normal. So it looks like right there he's using the ankle motion instead. He does have trigger nodules on there. But it does sound like the drums are not being triggered out. One likely they're probably layering samples on there, on top of the acoustic sound. That's a common thing that they do sometimes in these studios. But if you look at his hand technique, he's very loose. He's not death gripping the stick or anything like that. He's, you know, keeping a nice, good, loose grip on it. I like that. Very good. Very good stuff. Yeah, Mr. Anthony Barone is definitely something else as far as the drummer's concerned. You guys should definitely check out his channel. I'll link it down below and up above. You know how the drill goes. All right. Well, Anthony Barone, what an absolute chad of a drummer. First things first, let's talk about that wrist technique. He's using insane speeds on his wrist technique, and he's keeping it, like I said, very loose as well. You can tell he's not gripping the stick too tightly or anything like that. He's keeping a good loose grip on it while also keeping good control of the stick as well. And that is ideal, especially when you're trying to go into higher speeds. Because you want to keep loose while also maintaining your grip on the stick. Because if you don't maintain your grip on the stick, your stick's just going to go flying out of your hand. You're not going to be able to hold on to the sticks for very long. But he's doing a very good job. He's keeping everything in a nice centralized area. He's not like using a whole lot of these crazy like, you know, motions or anything like that. He is being very expressive with his playing. He's putting his whole body into it. And he is, you know, obviously moving around and using a whole lot of different symbols. But he's not over utilizing any one particular, you know, part of his body and moving around too much. He's keeping everything nice and efficient. Definitely with his double strokes, it's very clean. There's not a lot of, you know, crazy movement when that's involved. It's usually, you know, with his double strokes, it's very nice and tight. And that's good. I saw there's a good mix between his double strokes and also his um, regular ankle motion in there, and that's very good. You'll notice when he was doing his ankle motion that his knees were not moving at all. They were keeping very level, and that's very good. Usually when you are trying to utilize ankle motion, you don't want to involve your whole leg or anything like that because you're trying to really take away the other muscle groups and focus a lot more on your calves, your shins, and all that stuff, right? So ultimately, isolating all those other muscle groups, you know, away from what you're trying to use, which is your calves and the muscles on your shins and whatnot not is going to be what you're going to try and ideally have so doing this is a little bit easier to achieve if you just scoot back on your drum throne a little bit more instead of you know sitting on the edge of it like most drummers will do for full leg motion sitting back a little bit farther so that way you can use more of your calves and more of your feet or whatnot and just strictly rely on ankle motion that's usually the ideal scenario that you want for that particular uh play style but you can definitely tell that this man is a very professional drummer because he not only is going to switch to a different much more easier to use technique when it is coming to faster subdivisions that are found in inside the song, but he's able to do it with ease and with very, very minimal transitional, you know, issues in between. It's very nice and smooth, and I think that a lot of drummers can probably benefit from learning from this guy. You'll notice how his transitions were very smooth between these larger subdivisions and these smaller subdivisions. He wasn't, you know, messing up or anything like that crazy. Now, again, we don't know how many takes it took to get this song. He did look a little sweaty beforehand, so that might have been a couple of takes later, 
But either way, even after a couple takes, if your transitions are still that smooth, that's that's pretty darn good. But yeah, the dude's an absolute Chad, and I think you guys should definitely check out his channel. Like I said, I'm going to link it up in the corner right here, and then also down below in the description so y'all can check it out, because Mr. Anthony Barone deserves your subscription. He's an absolutely phenomenal drummer. And with all that being said, y'all, that's going to be the end of this playthrough review. So great job, Anthony Barone. Really liked it. Really enjoyed the music you made with Shadow of Intent, by the way. It was some really good stuff. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Share your thoughts down below of what you thought of Anthony's playthrough. Through. I thought it was pretty sick. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Don't forget as well to check out my channel and all the other videos that I got on there. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this video. So thanks everyone for tuning in and stopping by. Great to have y'all here. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Cheers and have a great rest of your night.